I'm going to first glue these two chipboard pieces to the front of the frame. So I'm just going to add glue. You're not going to see this since it's on the acetate on the front or on the vellum on the front. So it's okay to put this all over to get a good stick. And I'm going to place this so that the top of this piece is on the frame. She's hanging over just a little teeny bit here. I want to make sure that if I open this, I've got to push her all the way over just to make sure that when this opens, she won't get caught up. So I can open this completely with her there. And that I will place the playing cards on this corner down here. And then I'm going to set this aside for now. And I'm going to bring in the piece that's going to go inside the frame. So I have my picture that we cut the frame out of. This piece of black cardstock measures six and a half by five inches. And we are going to first glue the card to the front of the photo mat. And we're going to make a little bit of a tab for the top so that you can pull it easily out of the pocket. But we're going to start with gluing this part down first. So this card will just fit in the center of the photo mat with a small black border around it. And on the back side, I have already glued a photo mat that is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. The strip up here at the top, I'm going to be using this here. And how I got this piece from the 12 by 12 sheet with the teacups and the teapots, this was the top piece here. So I just cut the top piece off. It's a half inch and then I trimmed it to six and a quarter inches. I'm going to glue this piece down first to the top of the page, but it's not going to be all the way at the top. It's going to actually go right up against the white photo mat so that there is a black border at the top. And then I have this piece. I think this is a leftover piece from one of the collections pieces. And I'm going to first cut this. I scored it so I know where to cut this. I'm going to cut this at three inches. So I'm gonna have a three inch piece. And then I score this again at one and a half inches. So I'm going to cut this again at one and a half inches. This is going to be my tab for the top of this. So I'm going to place this one on either side. I'm actually going to make sure that this is in the center first so that I know where to place this. So I'm going to just put a mark here for the center. I'm going to take just for this piece glue just a little bit of glue along the bottom edge and then I'm going to place this down even with the top of the card and then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to take the second piece and I'm going to put glue all over the second piece and attach it on the back side. And make it even with the one on the front. And then to decorate this one, I'm going to select one of my pieces that I've cut. I'm going to select this Alice. And I'm just going to glue a little bit here 
along her dress and along her feet so that she is popped up because remember we want the photo to be able to slip behind her. So she's not going to be on there really well. And once you put photos down, you can always add more glue or you can add double-sided tape to these so that they will stay down. But now I can take my photo and put my photo behind her. So then this will slide down into here, have it centered, you'll be able to see the picture, and then you've got this little tab to be able to pull it out easier. Later on, I may add more things to the pocket, some of the cut apart pieces, but for right now, I'm going to leave it at just that. To start with the inside, we're going to add two photo mats that are three and a quarter by four and a quarter inches. We're going to cut these two checker pieces from the bottom strip. It was down here on the 12 by 12 pad with the cards. These are cut at one half of an inch by seven and one eighths of an inch. This piece here is a scrap that I had left over from the front page that we cut. It is that red with some teal on it. The back is purple. So it was a scrap that is four and a quarter inches by a half an inch. And then I cut this from the 12 by 12 paper pad. So we're gonna glue this down just like this. And just like previously, we're going to start with one of these strips first. Then we're going to do the second strip. We're gonna add the white photo mat. So we're gonna add this in the middle. Before I finish gluing this piece down, I'm going to place a magnet underneath of it so that it will close onto this page. So I'm going to take one of my magnets and I'm just going to place some glue here in the center. And I'm going to put one of my magnets here. So it's going to be about an inch up from the top. And then I'm going to add my glue and cover it with this piece. So now I will have a magnet under there. My pictures will still slide underneath of it. I've placed a magnet on top of this one that I'm going to attach over here. But first, on this page, we're going to cut out a couple of different things first. So from the background paper that looks like this, we are going to cut two pieces. So the top piece here is going to be seven and one eighth of an inch this way, three and a quarter inches here. And then the back side I'm going to use on the bottom, and this is cut at seven and one eighth by two and three quarters. So I'm going to actually put this down before I attach the magnet, because what I'm going to do is use this piece. I cut this from the 12 by 12 paper. I'm going to put this piece here covering the magnet. So the magnet's gonna be between this and this so that this will act as a tuck spot for the envelope to tuck into and hold it closed. So I'm going to attach these first and then I'll come back and show you how to attach the magnet. Now that I have this here, I'm going to add some glue to my magnet. I'm going to close this, take the magnet off of here, and place it right there. And next I'm going to take this piece 
and I'm going to make sure that it just slightly catches the edge. I don't want it to be too far up here, which I can't put it there because it won't cover the magnet, but I don't want it to be too low either. So I want it to catch right about here. So what I'm going to do is put glue on the bottom portion of this all the way to the sides, almost all the way up to, so I have glue, the only place I dealt is this portion here. So I'm gonna take this, I'm going to center this, covering the magnet and making sure that it adheres down. I'm gonna flip this up for now. And then that will hold it closed. Next, we're going to decorate the inside of the envelope. For the inside, I'm going to use a piece of the diamond paper, and this is going to be cut at seven and one eighth of an inch by three and a quarter of an inch. And then I've taken the top portion of the 12 by 12 card sheet, and I have cut this just so that it fits so it is larger than seven and one eighth you can trim it down if you want to i'm just going to use the whole piece so it is two and three quarter inches and it's the length of this so i'm going to put these on next and then i'm going to add a few additional elements to decorate after i'm done for the inside top i'm going to place her here And then for the outside, I'm going to place, first I'm going to place this. I'm going to slightly flex this so that it's easier to put in the closure. And then I'm going to put them here. If you don't like them in the center, you can offset them as well, but I'm gonna put mine in the center. take this chipboard piece and glue it here. The magnet is down here so I want to make sure that it does not interfere with the magnet and it still closes. Next I'm going to make a photo booklet for my pocket. So I have a black piece of cardstock that measures four and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. I have cut three photo mats already that measure four and a quarter by four inches. So I have glued them down to both of the insides and the back cover. For the front cover, I took this piece here and I cut the bottom corner off of it. And this measures four and a quarter inches by four inches. Then I'm going to use this Alice image and I'm going to add her here. So this is what the front cover is going to look like. For the inside of the photo booklet, for the first page, I'm going to take two playing cards and I'm actually going to cut these off so they're only going to be at the bottom, just as some decorations. So they're gonna be like this and I will cut these off. So first I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to stick them together.
And then I'm going to just take a, a pencil here and I'm going to mark where they need to be cut. And then I'm going to glue this down here. So there's going to be a little bit of glue on the black here and a little bit of glue at the bottom here. So to do this, I'm just going to run a small little bit of glue just on the edge here and just on this tip. So then the photo will slide behind it. For this side, I have one of these strips that's a cutoff from another piece that we've made previously. I'm going to glue this here. So I'm going to cut this so that it goes from the black to the black so we have something to glue. And I'm only going to add glue on the ends of this piece so that the photo will be able to slide underneath of it. So this one, I'm just going to put just up a little bit from the bottom. And then our photo will be able to tuck underneath it there. And then I'm also gonna take this chipboard clock and I'm going to glue this over here and I'm just going to add glue to the part that we just glued down. So I'm going to put my glue here on the band and then I'm going to place my clock over top of that. On the back side, I have another scrap remnant and I'm just going to glue this here. So I'm going to cut this and glue just the ends to the black part. If you want to add more decorations here, you can. So for example, we have these little pieces left over from the cards that we cut. You could add more cards. You could come in and add another image of Alice if you wanted to. You could just leave it like this. I'm just going to leave mine plain like this so that my picture will tuck in here. So now we have our little photo booklet. We're going to place that in the pocket. And then I have cut out the tag from the 12 by 12 sheet for some journaling. So I'm gonna tuck that into the pocket. And then I also cut out this, it's from the front, the back side of the front page of the paper pad. And I backed it onto some white just so that it can be used as a journaling card or for a small photo. So I'm going to stick this in the pocket too. If you want, you can place more photo mats in your pocket. It's totally up to you. I'm going to just slightly, very carefully bend my top flap, just curving it a little bit so that it is easier for me to tuck into that, that top um, of this closure. So whenever I do this, there we go, it will close a little bit easier. So now we have the envelope with the stuff inside. We have these two here. This is magnetized. Now we are going to flip this up and we're going to start putting some stuff here. We are going to also add another magnet here so that this whole entire flap magnetizes down so that it'll be easier. Right now it's a little hard to open this magnet. You have to hold this other one down, but this will be easier to open up. So we're gonna work on that part next. Next, we're going to start to decorate the underside of the flap. So I'm going to show you first what this is going to look like and then what pieces you will need to cut. So we're going to start up here. So this is the background paper with the diamonds. This is going to measure one and one eighth of an inch by seven and three quarters of an inch. 
This piece of the diamond paper up here measures one half inch by six and a quarter inches. This diamond paper here measures one and three quarter of an inch by seven and three quarter of an inch. These two pieces are from the 12 by 12 paper. It's the spade paper. And these two pieces measure 5 eighths of an inch by 4 and 3 quarter of an inch. Then I have this little guy here that I've cut out and I have my 4 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter photo mat. So I'm going to start by gluing this first piece on at the top just to finish it. Then I'm going to start here with the bottom piece and then I'm going to add these other pieces on starting with the spade paper, the diamond paper, photo mat, and this. But before I do that, I'm actually going to glue a, another magnet to keep this top flap closed. So I'm going to attach the magnet first to this top flap and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it. I'm going to take all these pieces off. And this is actually going to be covered by the photo mat. That's where this magnet is going to go. So we're going to see where it is first. Then we're going to remove it from the top flap and place it down. And so when this paper is here, the photo mat will actually cover that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these papers down. This is now all glued down, so we have everything ready to go. The photo will slide here. The photo will actually cover the magnet as well, but it will not make it to where that won't close, so it'll be okay because this is thin paper, so it'll be fine whenever there's a picture on top of there. Next, we're gonna cut two photo mats that are three and a quarter by four and a quarter. We're going to take the spade paper, this is a 12 by 12 pack, and we're going to cut one piece that is seven and a quarter by a quarter of an inch, and this is seven and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. And then I have a piece here of the leftover paper from one of the backgrounds, I'm pretty sure. Um, it, it measures a half inch by four and a quarter inches. So I'm going to glue all of that down, and then I'm going to place this Alice here in the center, just gluing it to the center so that the photos will tuck under. Next, we're going to decorate the inside first. We are going to need one of the background papers. I am using this one here. It's the back of the cover. So this is gonna be my base. I'm going to glue it here. Then my strip of the diamond paper. This came from the 12 by 12 paper. And this is going to be cut one inch by eight inches for the belly band. I have taken one of the cut aparts. I backed it onto black cardstock just so that it will stand out better. It's going to go into the center here. And then this piece is going to measure two and a half inches by eight and a quarter inches. It's from the background or the collections paper. It is the back with some of the sayings on it. And it is going to go here. I'm not going to glue this one down yet because I need to put magnets on it for this to close, but I'm going to glue these down first and then I'm going to come back and I will glue down the magnets first with you on camera. Next, I'm going to glue down magnets, but I'm not going to place them here. I'm going to start by placing them over here because these are so small, I need to have these positioned so then they will attach here correctly. So I'm going to take two of my magnets I've already marked them to where I want my magnets to go. So they're going to be about a half an inch in from the edge and about one inch from the up from the bottom and about one inch down from the top. I'm going to add my glue and then I'm going to close this. So now I know where I need to place my magnets. I'm 
I'm just going to use these magnets here. Make sure to put them right here. We're going to attach more magnets on this side later, so it doesn't matter. We will have them in that position later. So this is where my magnets are going to go. And then I'm going to take my paper and I am going to cover my magnets. And then I'm going to add a decorative piece like we did on the front side. I'm going to add some of the cut aparts or decorations here when I'm finished. To decorate this, I'm going to use a small Alice image. The magnet is here, so it won't cover the magnet. And then I'm going to add this little saying up here. We're going to make a large photo mat that goes underneath the belly band. So we're going to need to set this aside. First, I have a black photo mat. It measures six and one eighth by six and three quarters of an inch. I cut this piece from the collections pack, the polka dots. It was a piece that we had left over and I cut this slightly just to fit this. So it measures five and seven eighths by six and a half. So it's going to go here first. Then I cut another piece of black cardstock four and a half by four and a half. I scored it down the left side at one half inch to form a tab. We're going to place this here. Then I have this image from the cut apart page that we are going to use to decorate the front of this. It's going to fold over. There's going to be a photo. So we're going to have a photo here. This is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Then I have a piece of the leftover scraps. I believe this is a half an inch. It's a half an inch by four and a quarter inches. It's gonna go here. Then I've got these two pieces left over from the cards when we cut on the previous page that I'm going to add down here. And then I'm also going to use, I don't have it cut, so I need to cut one. I'm going to cut another photo mat. It's gonna be three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and it's going to go here on the base of the page. And then I will show you how we're gonna keep this closed. So I'm gonna show you how to complete this for the next step. I have mitered the corners here on this flap. So I'm going to place this here but I'm going to use this to hold this down. So it's gonna be slightly off center because I want this to just slightly catch on here so that when I open it, just like some of the previous stuff, it will just tuck under here just to kind of keep it held closed. So I don't want it to be too much, but just a little bit. So I'm just going to place this here just on the edge and I'm going to place it first. So I'm going to glue almost the entire crown piece. Once I have that down, I'll add glue to my tab. And I'm just going to Slide this in just slightly so the corner is just barely under there. I'm gonna hold that down. And then I'm gonna make sure that this is on straight and adhere that down. I have my one photo here and my second photo is going to go here. If you want, you can make this a larger photo spot. You wanna do a four by four photo, but it'll be right to the edge of here. So you need to make sure that you are really careful where you place your photo, your photo mat. I'm just going to place mine here. And we mitered these corners so you can't see that black once the photo mat is down. So I am going to place this here and I'm just going to place glue on the branch here, the branch underneath the cap, 
and down here. So this, the whole cat, and then this top branch will not have any glue. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way, so it's gonna be right at the corner, so I can glue this down and make it more stable. So I'm gonna add my glue. So now I should be able to tuck my photo under the Cheshire Cat, and then this will tuck under here to hold this closed. For the back side of the photo mat, we're going to start with a photo mat that's four and a quarter by six and a quarter. We are going to use this little leftover strip from the collections. It was off the bottom or the top of the page. It measures a quarter inch by six inches. It's gonna go across the top. This is the back side of the spade, 12 by 12 paper. I'm going to use the story side and I just cut a piece of it off from the bottom. We've been cutting off of this, so I just kept cutting. This is going to measure one and a half inches by six and a quarter inches. Then I've also got one of the Alice cutouts and three of the butterflies. So I'm going to glue these on and then I'm going to place these onto this. I'm going to place the butterflies and they are going to overlap with the picture. So I am only putting a little bit of glue It also gives it a little bit of a three-dimensional look. This one is going to be completely glued down because it will be up here. And so will this one because it's gonna be just above Alice. So the only one that needs to have the pop-up is the blue one here. And so I can slide my photo mat. Oh, there's too much glue on Alice's hands. So if that happens, you just want to be really careful. And lift her hands up so that the picture will slide back there. Just like that. All right, so we've got the back side decorated and then the front side decorated. And this will slide under this belly band here. So. This is what it'll look like when it's in the album. So to start with this page, I first took one of the backgrounds. I've taken the one with the hearts. This is what it looks like on the back side. I have cut two of these and they measure three and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches. One is going to go underneath here. The other one is gonna go underneath here. These pieces are from the background paper that looks like this. This is what the back side looks like. So I have cut two strips off the top, then I trimmed them down. So these ones measure one and three quarter inch by six and three quarters of an inch. I have some playing cards here. These are going to be tabs to pull so that when we open the album, that's gonna help us to pull. We're going to magnetize these though so that these actually lay down flat. So the cards are going to be magnetized. So I have my four cards and then I have four more cards. It doesn't matter which ones you use. We're gonna be using the back sides of these cards. And what we're going to do to start with this, we're going to take our cards and we're going to glue them together. So just how we had them on the page as the pull. Just wanna glue those together. However you like, I just have mine fanned out a little bit and this is gonna be here. Then I'm going to place a magnet. And then I'm going to take these cards and I'm going to place glue all over the card. It's 
to cover the magnet. I'm going to place one card and then I'm going to place the second card. Just line them up with the ones that we just glued together. So we're going to sandwich the magnet between these cards. And then we're going to repeat the process with the one over here. Same exact thing. Making sure that the magnet is sandwiched between those cards. Okay, so now I have my first one. I'm just going to trim this slightly. As my playing card in the back was a little bit bigger. There we go. And then this one will go here. And then starting with this one, Gluing it together to start. And then adding a magnet. And then gluing the cards to the back to cover. Now that we have our cards with the magnets, we want to make sure that the magnet is going to be on the paper here. So I can feel my magnet is here. So I'm just going to remove this piece and draw a line so that I know where I'm going to glue this. And then I'm going to glue this one down here. And then I'm going to cover it. Whoop, not yet. I also have to have a magnet here for each of these pieces. I forgot about that, that would not have been good. So we wanna take two more magnets. Attach them to the page that we just finished. Add a little bit of glue. I'm going to remove those for now. I'm going to take my page and close this and then open it so I know where to place my magnet. So now, I can go ahead and start gluing these down. 
Next, I'm going to glue down both of my heart background pages. So I'm just going to flip this up and I'm going to glue these down. Okay, so now we have our pages where we can pull them both open. These will have magnets that go onto the bottom to hold the pages completely closed. We didn't put the magnet under here for a reason. We want the magnets to actually be here so that it will hold the entire thing closed. So we've got these. We also are going to need to add some paper here and I'm going to make this hidden journaling. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just cut a piece of the white presentation paper that I've been using for mats and I'm going to mat the entire area with a piece of paper. So it is going to be two of these that I'm going to cut to be one and three quarter inch by six and three quarter inches and then I'm going to glue those on next. So I've placed my piece here and then I've taken one of the playing cards. I've just angled it slightly, placed it in the crease and then I scored this. I'm going to glue this here on both of these. It's going to be glued completely down because I'm not planning on putting pictures here. This is going to be for journaling, so nothing's going to go behind it. So I'm going to just glue this down and then I will show you on the top part how I did the score line. So I'm just going to place this here. Make sure it's all the way up against the score line. And then fold it over. All right. So for this one, I'm going to take another one of the cards. So this one was three of spades. We're going to do a five of hearts. This is where the magnet is. So I'm going to make sure that it doesn't go in the magnet. And I'm going to take my bone folder and run this along the crease as I fold it up. And then I'm going to, whoops, then I'm going to glue this one down. So it just gives it a little bit of decoration and some interest. So here. Okay. So now we have the start of our page. We are going to make a spread on the inside of these pages. I'm going to walk you through all the pieces that we need to cut and show you how these are going to be laid out. So we're going to use four three and a quarter by four and a quarter photo mats. One is going to go here. We're going to cut a second piece. It's going to go down here. And then the third and fourth ones are going to be in the center. And then we're going to cut the diamond and spade papers. So we're going to cut two diamond papers that measure one and three quarters of an inch by six and three quarters of an inch. The spade paper is going to measure three eighths of an inch by seven and seven eighths of an inch. For the diamond paper across the top, this is going to measure one half an inch by six and three quarters of an inch. We're going to cut the same piece down here for the bottom. And then four pieces of the spade paper that measure one and a quarter by three and a quarter. For each of the sides. 
Then for the center here, I'm going to use this chipboard piece and I'm going to place it in the center, just putting glue there so that the photos will tuck under. If you prefer not to use this, you can add any of the cut apart pieces that you want for this section. We need to place magnets under here. I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to remove all of my pieces. To know where to place this, I'm going to close this, hold this down, place the magnet here, and that's where we're going to place the magnet. So we're going to put some glue. Same thing with the top flap. And then we are going to start in the center, covering these up. So this is going to be just unfortunately at the tip of this. So we're going to have to be real careful to make sure that it is glued down properly. So how I'm going to do that, I'm going to start with my outside spade pieces. And then next I'm going to be adding my diamond paper. So I'm not going to be able to use this chipboard piece as it is because it will actually cover the magnet. So I'm going to trim my chipboard so that it will work. And I'm just going to cut this top piece off. So I'm going to cut straight across here. like that. So now it will sit between my magnets. Depending on where your magnets are, if your magnets are a little bit further, based on where you place them on your cards, you might be able to put the whole piece in. But I'm not able to, so that's how I'm going to get around that. And then I'm going to add glue into the center here. And make sure this has a nice firm surface because of the page underneath of it. I need it to sit flat while I push on it. So I'm just going to hold my page up in the air. So then the photos will slide behind. And while that's drying, I'm going to move on to the next part and add my photo mat and my decorative paper. 
then I'm going to complete the top part the same way. Next, I'm going to take some of the small playing cards and glue them onto here. So I'm just going to glue So now the photos will slide behind both of those. So we have this finished. If you want to place any more decorative pieces here, you can. So for example, you could take some more playing cards and place them around here if you want. You can add some of the other pieces, but I'm going to leave mine like this. And when this closes, it will close onto the magnets. So what we have with this entire page, hidden journaling spots, open up to a spread. So now page one backside is completely decorated.